Hello. This video is uh, for students mostly who want to use Crossword Maker to submit an assignment. It is also, also useful for teachers if you want to know how to use it, but this is mostly for submission and how to make a PDF of your crossword with the clues. Um, I want to say that uh, teacherscoursners.net has videos already um, to use your crossword maker, except that they're showing the premium version, which doesn't have the ads. And the ads actually make it a little bit confusing, which is why I wanted to do the free version, because that way you can make it um, simple for people to use. So we're going to start with um, how it works. You have your crossword puzzle title here, instructions which you can uh, edit if you want to, and here's where you, and your, you enter your words and then you can enter your clues, okay? And as you can see everywhere around here, there's uh, ads and a lot of the time there are confusing ads that will make you believe that this is where you want to click to do something, okay? So here, this part we're going to ignore because that's only premium features. I'm going to scroll down here. This is going to be something we're going to use. All of this we're going to ignore. So I can close the ads at first, but they will come back. So uh, I'm just going to mostly ignore them. Okay, there's like continues everywhere, which are not for you. That's the reason of this video, so that you understand how to use it when uh, you're doing your crossword. So you're going to start with um, giving your crossword a name. So um, for instance, you could name it with your last name. That way it's clearer, and then you can leave the instruction complete the crossword video. So what you want to do before is have your list of words ready, so that when you start entering here, you leave it. You don't lose. You don't take the risk that you're going to lose your work because it might not save. Okay. So uh, what I have is a little uh, sticky note here with all my words. Okay. And I'm going to minimize this page so that it's easier to copy and paste. All right, and here I'm going to enter all my words and my definitions. So I'm going to start with cat. I'm doing this in English so that it gives you an idea. All right, so I'm copying my definition. Just a little bit difficult to copy on the right. There we go. Then Yes. So I've done, I think, six or seven words, I can remember, just as an example. Gonna do the words in here. Yeah. Study. Okay, so I'm at nephew, so this definition. And the definitions are a mix of actual definitions or things like fill in the blanks, which are possibilities, as long as it's clear and that the clue can be guessed, then we're good. And the last one. So you really want to have your words ready before you start, as you see. And we have the beginning done, so the crossword has a name, and we have instructions, and we have our words, okay, seven words, perfect. Now we want to scroll down all the way, and we want to stop at make crossword puzzle, okay? And this will open a different tab and it shows you the crossword puzzle. Okay, so right now it's showing the crossword as you would give it to someone to actually guess and fill out. You want to submit your clues and your words, so you want to go back up and click on answer key. And answer key is going to put your words inside of the crossword and it's giving you the clues on both sides. 
Okay, so here you want to be careful with this kind of thing because again, this is an ad. You don't actually want to uh, click on this view PDF, but you do want a PDF. So you want to go to look at the menu on the left and you want to scroll down up until it says save as PDF. You want to click here. Now it's giving you the choice between an image or a PDF. You do want a PDF. And again, you get a new tab and it's making your PDF. So I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger. Let me just grab the page. Yeah. Right. This is what your PDF is going to look like, and that's your submission. Okay. So what you want to do then, the last step is you're going to want to download it. And there we go. It's going to open where you're going to save it, pick where to save it, and you save. And that's it. You're done. Then you want to find your PDF where it is saved. Be careful that you know where you save it, otherwise you're going to be looking for it. And then you're going to submit it whichever way you've been asked to submit it. And that's it. Okay, that's how to use the crossword puzzle maker.